Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're cooking crispy lemon chicken. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect lemon sauce that can pair with any meat. I will also talk about a couple of prepping tips so you can process larger batches and save for the future meals. Deep frying requires large amount of oil, which is a hassle for a lot of people. In this video, I will give you a trick to shallow fry with less oil, but still get the same crispy result. Let's start cooking. I have got here some boneless chicken breast. Cut it into big strips, then slice it into bite-sized pieces. You can also use chicken thigh if you prefer dark meat. Marinate it with one tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, one and a half teaspoon of soy sauce, one and a half teaspoon of Chinese cooking wine, and some black pepper to taste. Mix thoroughly and let it rest for 15 minutes. While waiting, we will make the sauce. Combine the following ingredients in a sauce bowl, two tablespoons of honey, four tablespoons of brown sugar, three and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sambal chili sauce. This is optional. If you don't eat spicy food, you don't have to add it. Three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of cornstarch. A big lemon. Use a peeler and slice the lemon skin off. Make sure you don't get the white bitter layer. We only need a few slices. Thinly julienne it, then dice it finely. That is about one tablespoon. Use a fork to help to squeeze the juice. We need about three and a half tablespoon. I'm putting the juice in a separate bowl first so I can get rid of the seeds. Mix thoroughly. This sauce is very versatile. I have tried it with other proteins such as shrimp, pork, and beef. They come out delicious as well. Tip number one for meal prepping. This amount is enough to pair with one pound of meat. You can make multiple batches and keep it in the freezer. It will stay good for six months. Don't worry about using a glass container because the liquid will not solidify due to the high sugar and the sodium content. It stays fluent in the freezer, so you can use it anytime without defrosting. Next, we're going to bread the chicken in a large Ziploc bag. Combine two third cups of cornstarch and two third cups of all-purpose flour. Shake well. Cornstarch is the key to make the chicken crispy. If you use 100% all-purpose flour, the breading will come out doughy. Add the marinated chicken. Lightly spread it first. Then shake again. Open the bag and remove the chicken. A sip is very helpful at shaking off the excess flour. Put the chicken back into the bowl and cracking one egg. Go in with your hand and mix thoroughly. Put the chicken back into the bag. We are coating it twice because a thicker breading will protect the breast meat from drying out. This plastic bag trick makes the coating process faster without any mess. Imagine you are coating the chicken one by one. Takes forever. Use a sieve to get rid of the excess flour again. Let the chicken rest on the side for 15 minutes so the flour can have enough time to bond together and it will fall off less during the frying. Meanwhile, Add 2 3rd cups of oil to your wok. Compared to deep fry, shallow fry uses less oil. The amount only reaches half of the height of the ingredient. That also leads to an uneven cooking because it's hard for the oil to float around. The trick to success is to start with a high temperature because when you add the chicken into the wok, it will bring down the temperature. A high starting point will ensure the chicken to fry properly. 
I'm heating the oil to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Split the chicken into two batches. Fry each batch of medium high heat for a couple of minutes on each side. Flip and make sure the other side is also crispy. Remove from the oil and set the chicken aside. Before you fry the next batch, remove the starch clumps from the oil by using a fine sieve. Add the rest of the chicken and continue to fry. Tip number two for meal prepping. You can freeze the chicken right after you fry them. They stay good for five to six months in the freezer. Whenever you want to eat it again, heat it up in an air fryer or an oven, then coat it with the sauce, and you will have your quick, delicious dinner ready. Remove all the chicken to the side and clean up the wok. Pour the sauce and stir over medium heat. When you see the sauce is thickened, introduce the chicken back into the wok along with one and a half tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. Toss everything until the chicken is coated nicely. A lot of the time when you order lemon chicken from Chinese takeout, they're not crispy anymore. My suggestion for you is to make sure everybody is ready to eat and do the last step to combine the chicken with the sauce. The longer you let it sit before serving, the less crispy it will be. I got my rice ready, let's eat. Mm. I just love crispy chicken bites that are covered in a glossy sauce. This is very lemony, savory and tangy. The citrus aroma refreshes the taste. The chicken is very tender inside. Mm. This is a perfect lemon chicken recipe. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. You can check it out later. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Souped Up Recipes Carbon Steel Wok, which is a traditional cookware in Chinese cuisine. The large size and the dome shape ensure even tossing and quick stir frying. Carbon steel material can handle super high temperature without damage, so you can achieve the restaurant quality cooking at home. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Check it out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.